Hello everybody, XJoe81X here, and on the tubes today, we're going to be doing a rant. It's called Bob's Furniture Sucks. Uh, I've had a lot of stories through the years. Let's see a little glare, let's see how this looks. I've had a lot of stories through the years, and I don't know how far Bob's goes. I could look it up on the internet. Jersey, Connecticut, New York, there might be some random stores. Anyway, Bob's Furniture... Uh, Bob's Discount Furniture, excuse me. Um, so I've had, excuse me, some problems since about 2008. And um, I've told Jay all my problems since we're friends, you know. That's what people do, so friends do. So long story short, which is irrelevant because uh, it's very long. Jay says, why don't you just make a rant? We're at a point in my life where there's a whole other situation going on, which... Multiple hours later, you'll find out. But Jay's like, make a rant. Like, like fuck it. You, it's not like one mistake and some guy fucking lost your lug nut and you got a crazy flat tire and some guy, you know, whatever, fixed it for 50 bucks. Like, this has been going on. So I had to sit down and made some uh, cliff notes just so, uh, you know, we're starting. And uh, <clears throat> just like everything else, I'm not really, like, pissed off right now. So I'm going to start the story, and um, it might build. I'm just going to keep going. I'm recording this in my uh, office on my tablet, and we'll see how far I get and how long it gets, and maybe I'll break it up into different scenarios, but we'll take it from there. Mm. Okay, so first things first. I move out of my home. I move to a uh, apartment. And certain things happen, and people come and go, and the um, couches and recliners, you know, the, the blah, 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 blah. Someone says, hey, why don't you go to Bob's? They're, they're not bad. They're um, cheap. And I was in my 20s, and I go to Bob's, and I'm like, oh, okay, um, I don't know right now. I'm not ready, so long story short, I don't know why that's a term I use, because this is not going to be a long story, short story. And... Um, Okay, so I move out around 2008, give or take. I move out, I move by myself, and I'm in a bachelor pad on a low ranch, which is great, parked in the front of the house, uh, no steps, kitchen, bathroom, awesome. And I brought the old furniture with me, and now I'm like, screw this, this is old, it's rickety, it's great. So I go to Bob's, and I buy a, um, <gasps> excuse me, I buy a, um, oh, a three-seater chocolate thing. I forgot what the name was. Commander. I think it was called the Commander. Crowd now now that's starting to jive. And then I bought this crazy, ridiculous, oversized um, recliner. Like your recliner is maybe oh geez, 24, 36, uh, whatever. I got like a 72 inch recliner, and it came. I went to the store. I paid. It got delivered. Um, at that time, I don't remember it being a problem. Uh, it showed up. Oh, it's great. Oh, we'll take the old stuff. I got a new couch. I vacuumed. And there it is. Might have rearranged the living room a couple of times. Okay, so I'm sitting on it. I'm sitting on it, you know, doing my thing. I'm 20. Oh, geez. Uh, 35 now. I am 10 years. Uh, maybe 20, 28, 29. I know I turned 30 in the apartment because I went away. So maybe 28, 29. That's great. We're sitting on it. Life moves on. Then a couple of weeks go by and I see the recliner, the thread. I really can't explain it, but just use your imagination. The thread starts coming out. I'm like, well, I pulled the thread, stupid me, and the whole thing just... Whoop, and I'm like, what the fuck? So I go to Bob's and Bob's like, well, i got to call this 800 number, which is the uh, customer service. So there's no customer service... In the Bob's Furniture Store. They do have liaisons and managers, <clears throat> but that's only for retail. And uh, I'll get into that another time. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just woke up. So I call this number. I don't remember the story. Someone um, came out. They looked at it and said, oh, sorry, sir. Um, this is a manufacturer defect. And that was fine. And um, <clears throat> I remember picking a regular recliner. Um, which I still have today, 
which, um, if I remember, I'll take the tablet downstairs and, and show you. There's really nothing to show you. It's just a recliner. And uh, I remember I had to go to the store. I had a uh, credit, and then I had to pick it out. And I don't remember if it was cheaper or something, whatever. So that gets delivered, and everything is great, believe it or not. Perfect. And life moves on. So uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, around Superstorm Sandy, um, I, I moved back home. And, you know, I have no reason to lie. I went to go save money with my fiance so I could live in this house. Because where I live, these houses are expensive. So the week before Superstorm Sandy, which was obviously premeditated, I moved back home, my childhood home in the basement. And uh, that was it. I had the original recliner and I had the original um, couch. It was it was working. Nothing was just like an old... Shoe or washer and dryer, washer and dryer, right, right. Two befores, and uh, it worked. It was just, it was just working. I mean, there's friends and family. It's working. And then around 2012, um, me and my fiance say we, we, you know, we should get a nice new bed. You know, we'll get the frame and the box spring, and oh, okay. And uh, you know me. Well, I got these things from Bob's. Let's go to Bob's. So we go to Bob's. Let's see, uh, 2012. I think just after it's all, Sandy was done. I think it was May or June. And uh, we go and we get a Bobopedic. It was five ninety nine before tax, title, registration, and delivery. Okay. Um, well, I, I, we lay on it. We thought it was great at the time. I might have been 33. Nope, 32. Whatever. And everything we lay in, it gets delivered. Um, I, I vaguely, it's kind of funny. Oh, you know what? Excuse me, I, I'm, I, I apologize. I really am sorry. I had a crappy bed, I think, with an old frame. And I think we got the Bobopedic before I moved in. Yes, because I remember moving it. Excuse me, I'm sorry. We got the Bobblepedic in my apartment before I moved in. We purchased it in 2012. In May of 2012, right, and Superstorm Sandy was September, excuse me, October of 2012. Sorry. And it was delivered into my apartment, and we laid on it, and everything was great. And then, yes, I moved it to my uh, parents' house. Right, okay. Because I was thinking, what did I do with the old mattress? Okay, now the battery. Okay, everything's fine. No problem. And, uh... There's some kind of goof proof that you have to pay for, and then they changed hands. Now it's called the Guardian, um, but back in the day it was a goof proof. So Bob's is like, oh, if anything breaks, rips, tears, piss, vinegar, you know, some girl has a massive period on your couch, <laughs> um, you could call, call it in. Uh, no, um, they give you a list, which I have, because I keep everything in my file cabinets. And I found out now that back in the day, um, the list was very, very like small. And when you called the um, customer service agent, they had a bigger list in a Bob's cubicle. And it was like, do not replace anything because if the customer says this. And you have to be very careful. No pets, um, no you know malicious stuff. Like as soon as you say something, oh, excuse me, sir, sorry to bother you. Uh, thank you, bye. So I, uh, I, I get a little rip, a tear, in between the two seat cushions. And right below here, there's a little tear, size of my thumb. Something happened. I call up the goof proof. They want to know 17 ways from Sunday how the tear happened. I uh, collaborated a story on to how it happened. And there was no problem. And we moved on. And the person came took pictures, opened up the sofa, sofa, and deemed that um, he's going to advance the claim. This is not even a guy who approves it. He advances the claim. And I'm like, advance the claim? What are you talking about? There's a commercial going on right now, actually, where it's like, oh, I'm not a plumber. I'm just a person to, uh, um, to let you know you have a leak. You have to call a plumber. I don't, I don't know the commercial. Um, so, so he advances the claim. I'm on the phone, and... Back then, I vaguely remember, it was all like email. So I get an email, and it's like, your claim has been denied. Please call this 800 number to determine why. 
And she calls me up and she says, the pictures that the guy took with his smartphone, if the tear is more than three inches long and is a quarter inch from any seam, Bob's doesn't replace it. I said, what, what does that mean? Obviously, it means exactly what it means. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. You can't, which they can. <laughs> you can't give me, sell me something which costs money, goof proof, which is like an extra $80 or so. And then you can't, I go to use it. And then you're going to start, you know, taking out these lists of rules. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, was a cat, did a cat do it? Nope. Did a dog do it? Nope. Did your wife do it? You know? And then you're going to turn around and you're going to give me a fucking whole uh, rigmarole story on how it's it's a quarter inch here, it's a quarter inch there. And I'm fighting with this lady and, you know, they got you by the balls because Bob's is rules. And he sat down with a group of cronies and figured out how much I can make money and screw the public. But they still come back and you'll see in the rants that I still come back up until now. So... I don't have any of pictures or any documentation that was in 2012, and I basically kind of won it, but I had to fudge it. I had to rip the couch a little bit more. I had to take a fucking ruler, a fucking wood ruler, and I had to, with my phone, and it was three inches, and it was a quarter, and I had to, like, sell my case to a fucking jury. So, uh, you know, then that was it, and then I got, I got pissed. And the, the guy's like, well, we're going to have to come back out. I'm going to come back out. So now I'm pissed. And I, 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 it's just a whole story. And it defeat the, uh, excuse me, the, the old story, I'm really not in a ranting mood because I'm kind of forgetting bits and pieces and bobs. So I, I ended up getting the full credit for the Commander three-seat Kleiner. And I wanted to keep it because of the tear. It was fine. But they were giving me the credit, which whatever was the recliner, I forgot what it was, you know, five, six, ninety nine, whatever, all that ninety nine shit. And I remember going to Bob's. I remember picking out something stupid, which I still have, fucking stupid. It was heat and massage, and I thought it was like, oh, let me try this. And um, I ordered that. It was probably a couple bucks more that I had to shell out. Bob's got me there. And then uh, before I went to the store, excuse me for jumping around, I had the call, and the guy's like, okay, we'll pick up your old couch. I said, no, I want to keep it. Excuse me, sir? What do you mean you want to keep it? I want to keep my old couch. Oh, why? I said, because it's just the tear. You can't replace the tear on the sidewall, kind of like when you get a flat tire on the sidewall and they want to replace the tire. So there's nothing wrong with the chair. I mean, just... Well, sir, and then we went back and forth, and like I'm like, why are you arguing with me? Well, sir, there's going to be a... A keeping the couch fee. <laughs> I'm like, at this point, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, we're going to charge you $150 to keep your couch because we're supposed to take something back. I said, no. I have zero fucks to give. And at that point, I'm like, well, who is this? Let me speak to your manager. Well, why do you want to speak to my manager? Fuck you, put your manager on the phone and or supervisor. And... Um, we went back and forth. I remember it was like an hour. I'm like, why are you arguing? How, you, well, you, well, if we don't take a couch, sir, first, then the instructions on the memo is the guys are not going to be ordered to deliver your couch. So when the truck pulls up, Bob's is going to say, where's your old couch? Take it, and then they're going to have people deliver the new one. So we went back and forth, and they got me by the balls. I have paperwork here, and I ended up going down to $50. I had to pay Bob's an additional $50 to keep my couch that had a three-inch tear that they deemed unfixable so I could go and get credit and then go, me, stupidly, go and go buy a new couch that was $100 more because it had a massage and it had heat, and which is actually not bad. It actually did work great. Okay, so that was that ordeal. I get the couch. We're at uh, 14 minutes, so we'll just do each rant separately. Um, so I get the couch delivered, and I sit down, and I plug in this, you know, two little things, um, little uh, transformer jobbers, you know, like a cell phone thing, and I plug it in, and he turns it on, and one is, and then we turn the heat on, and we're like, well, it's, I think it was in the middle of the summer, so I'm like, fuck it, how the hell do you know the heat's on, all right, then I turn the other one on, and then the other one doesn't work, and then I'm like, okay, this is defective. Well, sir, you know what's happening is we'll, you know, to keep the couch, but we'll, uh, we'll put in that you need a new module. And I'm like, 
Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, because then I took the other plug from seat A and I put it on seat B and seat B worked. So the little plug with the male and female connector was actually broken. So the couch wasn't actually broken, it was just the power source that came delivered in the little white box that's unmarked from China didn't work. So he's like, oh, okay, no problem, sir. And he goes, oh, you know, I'll do you a, say, I'll do you a solid. I'll uh, type in to give you two of these, you know, you know. So he's sitting there on his tablet and he's typing it in and he's like, uh, homeowner wants to keep couch, but power source broken, recommend two. Then they call, then they leave you and then you're on the speakerphone and this lady's like, what do you mean? It doesn't work. So I tell her, you know, honest Abe over here. I said, well, when you move one plug to A to B, it works. Well, why is he putting in a request for two plugs? And I'm like, because he wants to be nice. Because you had delivered me. Uh, well, sir, uh, you know, wah, 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 wah. it's coming from a, uh, it's coming from a uh, uh, Wang Dong Ching Fao, China. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, no problem. I remember that being a fucking disaster. Three, four, six, eight weeks for a plug. I remember calling Bob's. I remember talking to a manager. I remember, this is how shady things are in the world we live in. I remember that a guy was delivering the same couch. This is fucked up. And he found a delivery in my area where I was living at the time of the same couch. Came to my house first. Swear on anything that anyone wants to swear on. Came to my house, jumped out of the truck, ripped open the fucking plastic of the couch, and gave me those two fucking modules took the broken one, and then the one that worked, packed it in a box, and had the fucking balls to deliver that couch to an unknown citizen in the fucking area where I lived at that time. Yeah, soak that in, motherfuckers. Yeah, so I benefited, you know, fine, you know, call me what you want to call me, but then here's fucking, you know, Joe fucking times three, same situation, oh, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, and I have another fucking nice... Uh, let me write that down. Volkswagen rant that I'll tell you. Let me write that down. Sorry. Um, 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 what's it called? Wiper fluid. Oh, God. The Volkswagen rant's great. Holy shit. Jay, you never told me to make that one. Okay. Um, so that's going to wrap up the first rant. Um, I guess there really wasn't nothing wrong about Bob's, but kind of was. Take it with a grain of salt. Stay tuned for my second rant.